What's up? I'm that one guy from 87. And today, we'll be putting new fog light fixtures and upgrading to LED bulbs in my 2007 Chevy Silverado. Alright, so to take the old fixture out, I'm just going to get my fingers behind there. Pop it. Pop that one. Once you pop it, the cable is going to be connected in the back. You got the little push down button on it. Push it down, and it comes right out. So here's the two new fixtures. I got these off of Amazon from MB Auto and Truck. They're $28.40. They come with bulbs already in them. And they come with the clips on the back for installation. So the bulbs that I'm going to be putting in them are these. I got these off Amazon also. I got them from JDM A-Star. They're $26.99 for the pair. They're H16s, 5202 Type 1 LED bulbs. This is the regular bulb that I bought from AutoZone. And it was $28. All right, so to switch the bulbs, you're just gonna push these two notches in, and it should come right out. I'll go ahead and do the other one. Push two notches in, come right out. So the one thing I did notice is that with these bulbs, and with the bulbs that came with the fixture, there's no gasket in them. So I'm gonna assume that this gasket came off my electric wire. I'm going to take this one out, go ahead, put it back in there. So when I install the new ones, I'll still have them. But when you do do it, you might want to look into getting some new gaskets. All right. So to install the new bulbs, I'm just going to look at the back, get your new bulb. There's going to be two little plastic slots sticking off on one side. Line them two plastic slots up in the holes. And then just push it into your pop. And then you'll just want to do the same with the other. Alright, so now we're ready to install them. The first thing we want to do is take off the brackets. Which these came off fairly simple. Next, we want to take the brackets out from the truck, the old ones. So they should just pop right out. All right, and then this last one's going to be kind of hidden when you're underneath it. So I'm just going to do it from the outside, push it in, and then pop it out. All right, just show one more time. You don't even have to be under the truck. You can just reach around, fill for them. And pop them out. Alright, so when you go to install the new ones, they should just pop right back in. When you go to put the uh, new fixtures in, you're going to want to make sure the two that are on the sides are lined up with the notches straight up and down. Because that's how your fixture is going to pop in. Just like that. All right, so before we put these back on, I was just gonna show you, I put one of the old clips back on. Now, to adjust your light, you can either snap it in, take it out, screw it a little bit, snap it back in, or once you snap it in, you should be able to get a screwdriver through there and adjust it why your fog light is already in place. All right, so now we're ready to put the light back in. So I wanna make sure I got the lines going straight up and down. On my brackets, I'm gonna take my new fixture. The snap on clip right here should be on top. All right, snap. And then I'm just gonna line it up. All right. So there's probably an easier way to do this. So I'm gonna unhook it. No, that's not good. All right, so new plan. 
I'm gonna take the brackets back out. I'm gonna go ahead, snap them on here, put the bowl back in, since it seems to be snapped on the wire pretty good and I don't wanna mess with it. And then I'm just gonna snap the brackets with the fixture already in it into there and hopefully that'll work a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna line my light back up. Make sure it snaps in real good. Now I'm just gonna try to push the brackets and the light in all together. All right, so it snapped in. I'm gonna go underneath there, make sure I see all the brackets sticking out on the back side, and we'll do the other one. All right, so for the third time, this time I'm gonna leave the bottom bracket in for the adjusting nut. I'm gonna go ahead and snap these two on there on the top, because they're the ones that are giving me the problems. I think it has something to do with the little lines in it. So I'm gonna line it up again. So I finally got in there. Basically what I had to do was take the adjustment screw and tighten it down a little bit. That way I could get the two top clips in. And then once I was able to do that, I was able to pop in the adjustment screw. So hopefully you had better luck with this your first time around. All right, so I finally got them both in there. The best way I found to do this was to go ahead and of course, this is the old headlight because I'm not about to take them back out. Go ahead, take your pieces, line up where the slots are, and snap them on there. So once that happens, Go ahead, I tightened the adjuster screw all the way down. Then I put these two clips in first. Once I got these two clips in there secure, I went back, got the tightener screw into the other clip. And then while pushing against the light, I adjusted it to snap in the clip. And once I did that, the fog light was securely in there. All right, so now that we got them in there, I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on, see what they look like, and then I'll show you what they look like at nighttime also. So I'm that one guy from 87. I just put new headlight fixtures and LED bulbs in my 2007 Chevy Silverado. There's probably a better way to do it, but that's the way I did it and how it finally worked for me. And I hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching.